Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kate from Soul Shine Yoga. I'm excited to start practicing today. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to do a shortened, condensed version of an Ashtanga practice. So my version of Ashtanga. Um, so mat, obviously. Grab two blocks and then set one up towards the top half of the mat. It doesn't matter which side, left or right. And then one towards the back half of the mat, left or right. Just in case you need it. And then anything else you want for Shavasana. We're going to start standing at the top half of the mat. So join me in Tadasana, mountain pose. Now it's up to you if big toes touch and that feels comfortable. Or if you want your feet right underneath your hips, try that. And from there, really make it a point to lift and spread the toes, finding the whole perimeter of your feet. And then allow your toes to soften down. Sinking in being your tether to this practice today. We're gonna to use this movement to help us stay in our bodies, noticing, observing, feeling, any feedback, any information, any little clues or cues as to how things are feeling and showing up in your body right now. And then starting to build that foundation a little bit more, work your way up the legs, lifting your kneecaps, engaging the quad, allowing your tailbone to point straight down. You can take your hands to your pelvis in order to find that. Reach the crown of the head away from there, lifting your ribs, and allowing your shoulders to soften down. Take a big inhale, a big exhale. And then hands together in front of your heart. We'll do one more big inhale. Big exhale. And begin. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Palms flat, bend the knee. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower, chaturanga or all the way down. Inhale, back bend of your choice. And then exhale for a downward facing dog. So one. Two. Three. Four. And five, rise to your toes, look forward. Bend the knees, step four, hop to the top. Halfway lift, palms are flat, look forward. And then exhale to fold. Inhale, reach up. And end by your side, Samba Siddhi. Again, inhale up. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift. Step or jump back, lower, chaturanga, all the way down. Back bend, breath in. Down dog to breathe out. For one. Two. Three. Four, and five, rise, bend the knees, step or hop to the top, palms are flat, halfway lift, inhale, exhale to fold, inhale to reach, exhale, samba siddhi, round three, inhale, exhale, Halfway lift. Step or float back. Lower. Chaturanga or all the way down. Back bend. Breathe in. Down dog. Breath out. For one. For two. Three.
four, and five, rise, bend the knees, step or hop, palms are flat, halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands by your side, round four, inhale, Exhale. Head up. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward facing. For one. Two. Three. Four, and five, rise, bend the knees, step or hop, halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale, inhale, reach up, exhale, hands by your side, last sun A, inhale, up, exhale, fold, Head up, Chaturanga, back bend, downward face, for one, two, three, Four, five, rise, knees bend, step or hop, halfway lift, and fold, inhale, arms up, samasthiriki, moving on, sun B, chair pose, inhale, fold, exhale, head up, inhale, Chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right foot steps, warrior one, reach, inhale. All the way down, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot steps, arms up, inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Back bend, inhale, and down dog, exhale, four, one, two, three, four, Five to rise, bend the knees, step or hop. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, samma siddhi, exhale. Round two, chair pose. Fold, head up, chaturanga, back bend, downward face. Right foot, warrior one, reach. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. Left foot, warrior one. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. Four, one. Four, and five, rise, 
Bend the knees, step or hop. Halfway lift, inhale. Hold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Samasthi Dhi, exhale. Round three, chair pose, inhale. Hold, exhale. Head up, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, in breath. Round dog, out breath. Right foot, in breath. Chaturanga, out. Back bend, in. Down dog. Left foot, in. Chaturanga. Back bend, down dog, for one. Two. Three. Four. Five to rise. Knees bent, step or hop. Halfway lift, in. Fold out. Chair pose, in. Samastadhi, out. Round four, chair. Fold. Head up. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. Right foot, reach. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. Left foot reach. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. For one. Four, and five, rise, knees bent, step or hop, halfway lift, fold, chaturanga, in breath, samasadhi, out breath, all right, last sunday, chair pose, fold, head up, chaturanga, back bend, Downward face. Right foot, reach. Chaturanga. Back bend. Down dog. Left foot, reach. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. For one. For two. Four, three, four, four, five to rise, bend the knees, step or hop, halfway lift, and then fold. Trip pose in. Some city heat out. Now hands to your hips, feet hip width distance, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold forward, peace fingers, catch the big toes, take another inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale to fold, for one, two, three, Inhale, halfway lift. Slide the palms under, Padahastasana, and exhale, fold. For one. Two. Three. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Hands to your hips, stick your butt out, stick your chest up, bend your knees. Inhale, rise all the way up, and then some city key. Just get a little twist. 
All right, from here, we're gonna step back with the left foot. So take a big giant step back, left foot. Rotate all 10 toes to point to the back of the mat, setting up for triangle pose. And then reach that left arm, get really, really long, and then tip over. So this is where the block can come into play under your left hand. You could use your shin if that works too. Just make sure the knee feels safe. Take three more. Last two. Last breath. Inhale, rise, rotate the feet. Now triangle to the front, right arm reaches. Exhale, fold. And five, inhale, rise, rotate for the twisted triangle pose. Reach the right arm, get really long, spinning all 10 toes to face to the back of the mat. And then right arm lowers. Again, block or using your own shin. And then the left arm can stay at the low back or reach. Five, inhale to rise, rotate the toes, left arm gets really long, and then exhale to fold. Five, inhale, rise. And then facing the left side edge of the mat, we'll do two wide-legged folds here. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. And then fold further for one. look forward catch the hips as you bend your knees and draw the elbows and shoulders back and then rise on an inhale reach out hands to hips as you exhale fold draw elbows and shoulders back for a one Push into the feet, reach the chin forward, rise in breath. And then rotate the feet to point warrior two towards the back. Exhale. And then extend side angle. Left elbow, left thigh, right arm up and over. Stay or lower that left arm. One. Two. Five, inhale, rise, rotate, right side. Right elbow, right thigh, or lower the hand. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale to rise. Rotate now for the twisted variation. So we're gonna do crescent lunge twist. Rise to the ball, that right foot facing the back edge of the mat. 
Take your right arm, get really long, and then cross it over that left side. Prayer twist there. Prayer one. Two. Option for the bind. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, rise. Rotate. Second side. Rise to the ball of that left foot. Take your left arm. Reach all the way across. Prayer twist. Prayer one. Two. Three. Again, option to bind. Four. And five. Inhale to rise. Face the left side edge of the mat so we can finish out our wide-legged folds here. Inhale, reach out. Interlace the hands behind you as you exhale. Stay upright. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale forward. Four. For one. Two. Four, five, hands release, halfway lift, inhale, hands to hips, exhale, inhale, rise all the way up, reach out, exhale, slide the hands all the way down the legs, peace fingers, hook the big toes, inhale, look forward, and then exhale, four, for one. For two. For three. For four. And five. Inhale, halfway lift. Catch the hips. Rise all the way up. And then some mustardy D to the top of the mat. Now, pyramid pose, left foot steps back, not as far. Spin all 10 toes to face the back of the mat and then reverse prayer behind your back or just bringing fists together. Take a big breath in or you can catch opposite wrist. Exhale, dive over that left leg, nose to toes. For one. Three. Four. Five to rise, rotate, second side. Adjust the arms if need be. So grab opposite wrists, reverse prayer or opposite fist. Take a breath in, lift. And then exhale to fold. For one. Three, four, five. Inhale, reach the chin forward to rise. And then exhale, Samba Siddhi back at the top of the mat. Now, tree pose to the right, hands to heart center. Bend the right knee, feel it open. Lift the knee and place the foot anywhere in the seam of that left leg. If half lotus works in your body, you can take half lotus. If that's the case, wrap that right arm around, grab the left arm or right arm hooks the big toe, left hand to half. One more here. And then unhinge that right foot, lift the knee out as high as you can. Take the knee forward and grab it. And then we'll lift the knee as high as we can. Grab the hips and reach the toes for three, two, one. Set it down. Second side. Hands to prayer. Bend that left knee. Feel it out to the side. Lift the knee as high as you can and plant the foot anywhere in seam of that right leg. 
stay, or again, half lotus if it works. Holding onto that foot with the right arm, wrap that left arm around and hook the right elbow, or left hand to left big toe, right hand to half. Okay. Last two. And then lift that right, or left foot, I'm sorry, left knee out to the side as high as you can. So you get forward and catch it. Use your arms to lift that knee as high as you can. Try and keep it there as you grab your hips and reach the toes forward for three, two, one, side down. And then regular sun A, inhale up. Exhale, palms are flat. Half length, Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward face. Rise, look forward, knees bend, step or float. Halfway lift, big toes touch. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. And breathe. For one. Two. Three. Four, and five, inhale, rise, exhale, fold, halfway lift, breathe in, and then option for curl, plant the hands, you might have to step your feet back if you're pretty on top of your hands there, and then try and get the knees as high as you can as you look forward, lean forward, create a shelf with the upper arm bone. One more breath. Inhale. And then step or shoot back. Vinyasa or down dog. From here, right foot steps forward, warrior one. This is like the sixth time that we've done this pose. So make it big and really count. Last two. Find warrior two, right side. Same. Last two. Hands land, vinyasa or right to down back. Left foot, warrior one, inhale up. Try and sink low as you spin your belly button, heart forward. Last breath. Warrior two. Frame the left foot. Vinyasa from there or right to down dog. And from here, we'll head into our seated series. So rise to toes, look forward, bend the knees, and step or jump through, have a seat for Dandasana, staff pose. From here, you're flexing through the feet. You're planting your hands by your side. Press down through the proms, flex the feet, peel the shoulders, back tuck the chin, five ujjayi breaths. Inhale, pick it up. Option to jump back or stay right where you're at. And 
time from here, Paschimottanasana. Reach forward, peace fingers around the big toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last breath. Inhale, pick it up. Option to stay or vinyasa. You decide. Right back through. For reverse plank. Hands behind you. Press into the palms. We'll lift the bum, point the toe. Three lines, breaths. Stick your tongue out. Lower. Optional vinyasa or stay. Go right back through. And from here, half hurdler, lean to the left as you bring that right foot behind, or beside you rather, toes point back. Stay right where you're at if you feel sensation. If you need more, then reach forward and fold. Go on. Three. Four. Five, inhale, pick it up. And then second side, let's get the vinyasa between this one. So left foot comes back beside you, toes point back. And then use a blanket underneath your sit bones if you need to level them out. Inhale, stay or fold. Good one. Four, five, inhale, pick it up. Option to stay or vinyasa. Janushya Shasana, right knee falls away. Inhale, reach, exhale, forward. Two more. Inhale, pick it up. Optional vinyasa or stay. Second side, left knee in, let it fall. Inhale to reach, exhale, fold. Inhale, pick it up. Option to stay or vinyasa. And back through. And then from here, Marichyasana A. So bring the right foot in, lean to the left as you reach inside that right leg. Hook the foot or back shift the arms for the bind. One. Two. Three, four, five, inhale, pick it up. Option two, vinyasa. And second side, bend that left knee, lean in, and grab the right foot or back stroke for the body. And then option two vinyasa. We stay. Almost through the vinyasas here. Marichyasana, see now for the twist. Looking that left elbow around the knee outside. Last 
last breath. And vinyasa or stick. Untangle, come forward, vinyasa or stay. And headed into boat pose. So hug the knees, stay right here, or float for three, two, one. Cross right over left, press down, lift something. Round two for three, two, one. Cross left over right, press down, lift something. Last one for three, stay or lower. Then lift. Four, three, two, one. Vinyasa or step back to down dog. Last one. And from here we're gonna leapfrog, jumping feet outside of hands, rise, bend the knees, hop. Now get the heels flat and land for malasana, hands to heart center. Or if you want to attempt arm balance here, place the hands behind the feet and hugging the thighs together, you'll wrap the one foot over the other. For three, two, one, and then have a seat. Lower your bum and we'll take straddle pose. So from here, whoop, take the legs wide, spread all ten toes, take a big breath in, stay or fold. For one, two, three, four, and five. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet touch, heels close in towards the groin, grab a hold of the balls of the feet to open the book. And then reach the heart forward. Stay for four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, pick it up. And then from here, you're going to catch the big toes using your peace fingers and kind of Lean back for a straddle version of boat. Now stay there or roll it back for a plow variation. And then see if you can roll forward and land that straddle boat. From there, bring the legs together. Arms are straight, legs are straight, head is back. Lastly, bend the elbows to draw everything in for three, two, one splat. From there, hug that right knee into your heart. Give it a squeeze. And then reach the right heel skyward as you spread the toes. Hold the leg wherever you can for three, two, one. Take an inhale. Lift your nose to toes for three, two, one. And splat. Hug that left knee in. Give it a squeeze. Reach the left heel skyward, spread the toes, and hold on to that leg wherever you can. Take a breath. Take it, or I'm sorry, breathe here for three, two, one. Take an in breath, nose to toes. For three, two, one, and splat. Now we'll do bridge pose. Bend the knees, planting your feet flat. And then reach the arms down by your sides to tickle the backs of the heels. Just make sure that your feet, your knees, your thighs are hip width distance. Try not to go wider or narrower with either or any. Now one option is to hold on to the edges of your mat like so. The other option is to plant the hands. As you're ready, inhale, lift. Interlace the hands underneath you and walk a shoulder at a time underneath for bridge. Thighs parallel. Last 
two. Last breath. Move the arms out underneath. Let the bum land. Knees knock together. Close the eyes. Palms up. Breath in. Breath out. Now, doing Setu Bandhasana again. Bridge pose. Or if you'd like wheel, that's an option as well. We're all going to start in bridge. Press into the feet. Lift the bum. Lengthen. Stay. Or hands up by your ears. And then roll to the crown of the head first. See if you still like the idea. And then continue for three, two, one. Release. Bum lowers, knees knock together, palms up. Four breath in. And a breath out. Shoulder stand. So from here, I'm going to lift your bum. Reach the toes all the way up. Through the sky. If this is too intense, just let your hips on a block or supported bridge or hips on a block. Plow, lower the toes overhead. If the toes do not touch down, keep your hands at your low back. If they do, you can release the hands. From here, slowly start to drag the thighs, the knees, the legs back down. Right at that last second when the body just wants to collapse. Try and dig a little deeper, move a little slower until the bum lands on the ground. From here, fish, legs point forward. Walk yourself up to your elbows, taking one hand at a time underneath your bum, bringing your elbows closer. Point your toes. Lift your chest, head back, three lines, breaths. And then lower all the way down. Now time for one more inversion. So if you'd like shoulder stand again, or legs up the wall, or headstand, your choice. Take 10 breaths and then We'll all meet back in a seat to finish our breath work. And then make your way to a seat. We'll finish with pranayam. Crisscross applesauce or lotus, half lotus, whatever is comfortable. If you want to sit on top of something, sit on top of something. From here, sit up really tall. Resting the palms up. Jyana mudra or dhyana mudra where the index and thumb meet. And then tuck the chin slightly to create that jalandhara bandha. The throat lock. And we'll take five ujjayi breaths. I'm sorry, ten. Ten ujjayi breaths.
for 10, allowing the palms to touch down, softening the shoulders. I'm not sure if that was 10, I lost count. But next we're gonna finish with Kapalabhati. So 60 breaths, um, short little bursts through the nose. And I always like to just picture my belly button like snapping back to my spine to keep the rhythm. So take a regular breath in, regular breath out. A breath in and begin. Big inhale. Push it out. Shavasana. Let the body drop. As long as you'd like. And when you're ready, start to wiggle toes and fingers, wrists and ankles. Rocking your head slowly, gently, sweetly. And then full body stretch, arms reach. Hug the knees to roll towards the right. Finding a seat, sitting up tall, crown of the head reaches, shoulders relax, face is soft. Take a breath in and let it out. Bringing your hands together to bow your head. And guiding your thumbs to your forehead, connecting heart with your mind. Showing gratitude for making it to your mat today and to each other we can bow and say namaste. Thank you so much for joining with me. I miss you, every single one of you so much. I miss all your faces. So thank you so much for continuing to practice. Keep going. Feel free to share any comments below. Um, if you have any questions, you can also email me at kate at soulshineyogapgh.com. Those of you who have donated, amazing. Thank you so much. It means 
everything to me. And if you still would like to, there's a link in the description below. I know it can be a little bit iffy. If you can't figure it out, do not worry about it. I hope you're all staying safe, healthy, sane, and get outside and enjoy the sunshine. Thank you.